when you're getting started, you may just need an LLC. Uh, ultimately, you want to you want to structure as an LLC, but there's another step in between that you want to layer. And especially if you intend to grow your business, you want to layer your business so that you're protected. Welcome to Arbitrage to Equity, the show where you'll learn the exact tools, techniques, and action steps that people are using every day to build true passive income that transforms their lives and the lives of their families. I'm your host, Tom Swan. Now let's get down to details. What's up, everybody? It's Tom John Swan. In this episode, I'm going to go over how to structure your business entity. All right. So disclaimer, this is not legal advice. Uh, it's not financial advice. You don't have to listen to anything I'm saying. I don't suggest you listen to anything I'm saying, but I'll tell you what worked for me. So when I got started in business, I actually started multiple businesses and structured them all incorrectly. And you may be wondering, how is that possible? Well, I'll tell you. So when I got started, I was like, simple, easy peasy. I'm going to save some money. I'm going to go on Rocket Lawyer. Nothing against Rocket Lawyer. I love them. I use them for legal documents. I use them for legal advice uh, at, from time to time because you can actually get in and talk to a lawyer. But setting up an entity uh, is not just the way that you want to um, set it up. So when you're getting started, you may just need an LLC. Uh, ultimately, you want to you want to structure as an LLC, but there's another step in between that you want to layer. And especially if you intend to grow your business, you want to layer your business so that you're protected. And ultimately, an LLC will protect you. But if it's just you on the LLC, they can, uh, if anything happens, if, if somebody ever decides to sue you or somebody comes after your business for whatever reason, they still will be able to tie you to the LLC and go after assets. So what you want to do is protect yourself at all costs. So when you're getting going, you want to set up, uh, I feel it's important to set up a holding company because if you're going to build for the long term, it's best to have a holding company that can give you anonymity. So you want to have a holding company that has that you're just a member of and you're not the actual owner of and that gives you anonymity because you are just a managing member of that LLC and you can structure that entity as an S corp which will give you protection. Now, I'm not a professional in this. I'm just telling you what works for me and how I have my business set up. However, if you go to Prime Corporate Service and I'm going to mention them multiple times, primecorporateservice.com forward slash S-T-R-L-M, you can talk to them and they will give you a free consultation on setting up your business and your entity and they'll actually give you your first, uh, by using that code, they'll actually give you your first entity structure at cost. So they'll set up your LLC at cost and, uh, and, and because I'm working with them and because they're, we're working together on this, they offered to utilize that code and give you these opportunities to go use their product. But here's the thing. I use Prime Corporate Service for all of this because they make my life super easy. I just go to them and say, here's what I want, and they go do it. We, we obviously have a discussion about it, but ultimately, they're the professionals in this. I work with their legal team. I work with their accounting team, and they take care of everything with my business as far as from a legal structural standpoint. So, and then from there, you want to set up multiple, if ultimately down the road, you're going to set up multiple LLCs. For instance, if you have your arbitrage or short-term rental market, uh, short-term rental business, you want to have that as one LLC. You don't want to commingle. If you're going to go buy a property, you want to put that property into another LLC. You want to, if you're going to go do a flip, you want to take that property, put that property into another LLC. So all of these LLCs can be owned under the S Corp holding company. Now, or maybe it's an LLC, but ultimately they're held under the, the holding company and it's dependent on the type of business structure that you have, whether it's an LLC or an S Corp. Again, talk to Prime Corporate Service. They will tell you all of this stuff. They'll, they'll, explain all of it so that you can understand it. Now, 
the reason for that is, and I'll give you a perfect example of this, but the reason for that is having a holding company gives you anonymity. And by having everything structured into separate LLCs, if somebody wants to come after you, they can only go after the assets of that LLC. So if somebody sues you and you're running your short-term rental business and you have that set up as one LLC, somebody can come after you and go after only the assets of that LLC. So they can only go after the cash assets and any uh, physical assets that you may have. Now, under a short-term rental business, especially if you're doing arbitrage, you're not going to have any physical assets under that LLC. So if anyone does want to come after you, they can only go after that LLC and not go after you personally. So then if you go to another uh, LLC, like, like having a... Uh, you know, a, a flip or a uh, long-term hold or anything like that, another property, you can put that into a separate LLC. So that way that is the only thing in that LLC. So here's why you do this. So when I got started, I just set up one LLC. I set up a few different ones, but they're all, they're all not protected in any way. So they all tie back to me. Ultimately, if somebody wants to sue me, they can sue me personally. And that's exactly what happened. So I actually just went through this and ended up losing a lawsuit. And because I was tied to it personally, unless I'm going to file for bankruptcy, which was not going to be the case at all, because it would screw up my entire existence. I have to pay out the the, the loss on the the uh, lawsuit. So what happened was I did a flip on a house and the contractor broke the contract, overbilled me by about $80,000. I paid them about half of that and then I stopped paying them. And I said, look it, you've already broken the contract. You're way out of range of what we contractually agreed on. You've not submitted any change orders to me. You have not submitted any paperwork or anything in writing that says anything was going to cost more than what we discussed. And we haven't changed anything on the job other than a, a couple minor tweaks here and there, but nothing worth $80,000 of difference. And ultimately, they sued me for the difference. And the judge ended up siding with them and deciding that I owed them the difference because of some early, early on in the contract, like literally in the first week of the contract, we went outside of the contract and changed the, the agreed on price and we didn't update it in the contract. And because of that, the judge ruled that we had already established a pattern, even though the dispute happened almost a year later after that initial change, the judge decided that because we had established a pattern of not abiding by the contract, that they were entitled to the full amount that they billed me. So it was uh, not the best situation, but ultimately, if I had had that house in a separate LLC under a holding company, there would have been no assets in that LLC. And I could have just walked away from it and they could only sue that LLC. But instead, because I did the job under my main LLC, they sued me personally. And because of that, I ended up losing the lawsuit and I have to pay out a large sum of money. So if I had structured it the right way, I would have had the holding company, which owned the LLC. So they wouldn't, they would only be able to go after the LLC and then in turn, they wouldn't be able to go after me because I would have had nothing to do with it. It would have all been under the holding company, in which case they could go after the holding company, but the holding company also has no assets because those are tied up in other businesses. So if you want to learn more about how to structure this the right way, that's the way you do it so that you can always protect yourself. You want to protect yourself first when you're starting business. You ultimately want to always protect your assets and every ounce of penny, every every penny, every dollar that you have, you want to protect all of that. So don't end up in the situation that I did. Go to primecorporateservice.com forward slash STRLM, stands for STR Launch Method, the name of my course, and go sign up with them, set up for a free consultation, 
And if you decide to go ahead with a LLC set up through them, you can actually get the LLC set up at cost. It's a couple hundred bucks. They're excellent people. They do a great job and they really know their stuff and they will take care of you over there. So on the next episode or one of the episodes coming up, I'm actually going to have Tommy Thornburg from Prime Corporate Service on here discussing not only corporate ent entity structure, but also discussing building business credit. So we're going to go over that on future episode. And uh, till then, I will see you on the next episode. All right, bye.